with all this back hit. That's all they're after is a free meal. What's going on you guys? The people on the live step and I are back out in front of Harbor Island in Beaufort, South Carolina, pulling a 40 foot trawl net. Um, we're hoping for the best today. I'm already seeing lots of seagulls and stuff over our net. Uh, hope today is better than yesterday. I've, for the ones of you that's been following along with the channel, I took our little trawl winch that I was using off because we just didn't have enough cable uh, rigged up on it after our trials out on the water yesterday. And I rigged the boat back up with about 130, 35 foot of pull ropes with this bridle. Little system right here I have. We've already added this walt board to the back of the boat. We got the boom that's extended. Don't know what we're gonna do about that winch yet, guys. But um, just bringing you guys out on the water. It's two to three foot swells right now. More like two. And um, as the tide drops back out, there's some sandbars out here. They have egg banks. They'll they'll block some of these winds that's coming in on us. So we're just hoping for a good day, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Guys, we're fighting the wind and stuff right here, pulling our tail back in. So I'm gonna give you a quick look at what we got in our bag. I see some ribbon fish, I see some shrimp. Not too bad of a pull, but not what we're looking for. Hope it gets a little better. And wouldn't you believe it or not, we lost the board off the back of our cool tape. All types of stuff happened. That's okay. So you see what we got? We're gonna sort through it. We got to get hooked back up. We're gonna to go to pulling. Oh, we back hooked up and we're pulling, we're pulling. We're getting this stuff sorted out. Look here. Oh, that's a big jumbo right there, guys. We call these right here hot dog shrimp. That's enough to put on a hot dog bun and eat them. What you guys think? I got the boat on autopilot right now, guys. Got the boat on autopilot, yeah. Yeah, we got autopilot now. Finally got that installed. It works. It works pretty good. I can't complain. It's holding this net straight. Giving me time to go back here and help stuff a little bit. Just got to watch out in front of us every now and then, but we're in such a big area, most of the boats are not close up on us, so we're gonna pull. We're gonna pull, we're gonna pull, pull, pull.
Sanders and Tater Groves. They're down here trolling too. Look at the light that surrounds us. It's so cool. And, you know, yesterday when we were out here, my sons and I, you know, it was actually some dolphins that swam really, really close up beside the boat. And I don't know if I can ever get any video of it at this time, guys. I'm trying to get caught up on video, trying to catch stuff. Trying to answer comments, trying to answer questions, trying to share a little bit of my life too, right? Steph, what's the name of those birds with them real long orange beaks? Oh. They're either the oyster care catches of the turn and um, plenty of seagulls. The laughing gold. You can see our two door lines, the white ones, they're spread out, and the center one going straight to our bill on our trawl net. Boy, the dolphin are all over the net. I sure need a good day. I'm telling you, this boat will about kick my butt and all this shrimp. And it about kick my son's butt yesterday and my other son's butt too, along with my butt. So that ain't, you know, everything. If you've been following along, it's been a lot of challenges. What you estimate there? Two or three pounds of big, large shrimp. Definitely not what we're expecting. Yesterday when I left out of Eddie's Point, come all the way over here to Harbor, trawled out here for a while and all the way back, I burned $96 worth of fuel. Today I put in at Butch's Landing. Uh, don't really like putting this boat in there because there's no floater or dock for Steph to get in the boat. So today luckily Shell and Phillip was coming. Steph just backed me in the water. I got out of the creek and they brought her with their smaller boat that they could get up to the ramp with easier out to meet me in the bigger water. So, you know, that's what friends do. They look out for each other, right? Can you show them some of the rope? So these are, some of these shrimp are roe shrimp. They're big white shrimp, but they're roe. Same thing, kind of work on it. So 
I don't really know what's going on with that because we run the boat, you know, 75 miles or so since then. And I mean, the boat has ran really, really good. But these are just some of the things that, you know, are going to come out when you're out on the water. It's just a matter, of, do you, you know, of you trying to handle the situation. You got to be kind of mechanical and uh, also, you know, dealing with this old stuff that we're dealing with. This is a 1988 Parker Pilot House with a 355 liter Merc Cruiser gas engine for anyone that doesn't know that by now. But we're back trolling along. Look at here on the screen. We definitely don't want that there. I don't know if you guys, if it's going to pick that up for you guys. I think you got it. It was a little, little bit of a glimpse in it where you guys probably could see what was on there. It may be a school of little small bait fish. We've been, you've seen that. We've Maybe it'll be shrimp. I hope so. But we'll it's, see. It's kind of crazy how with some of these cameras, when you hold it on these different GPSs, how it does like that black line. And then when you angle up or down, it'll kind of clear up. And then the camera went out. So, back on the struggle bus. If it's still on, we're still on the struggle bus a little bit. Jesus. We're a mess.
everybody out there on Harbor Island. decent pool here. See a lot of little small shaft in this one. I think I'm gonna have to dump this one in one of these coolers because of the fact that we lost our coil board and I don't want to lose too much shrimp. It's cool. What we got in this one here? Nothing. It's I'll make sure y'all give him that like. He's having to work hard since working I'm holding hard. the camera. Working Can't hard, really guys. help him. They're still trying to bring you guys along with these videos. You know how I am. Four years now. Four years I've been making these videos to share with people. I put in my time. I'm putting in the work. Some of these videos take hours just to upload to YouTube and stuff. So. I always ask people to give me a lot. get to sorting get set back out and we'll show you a little better view of it well, this right here is a hundred and fifty four cooler guys those are the ones we're looking for but a lot of these guys somebody left the crab spotted the crab Out of that big huge cooler of stuff, this is all the keepers that we got. Maybe four pound, three pound again at the most. So we got, we're up to a total of about six pounds of shrimp for four hours of work so far. Two people probably not burned at least $50 worth of fuel. So. Not including the hours of work you put into loading the boat yesterday and getting all the stuff ready. What you supposed to do? If you love it, you love it, right? That's why I keep bringing you guys along. Gee whiz. Look at that little ball of shrimp. That's it. And there's still ice under them some, but, but they but are look, nice. That's about, I know that's got to be at least, what, a hundred hot dogs? I know they put it all in the pound shrimp right now. hundred dollars a pound. Well, so you can't take no less. I need somebody to be able to buy my hundred dollars a pound. You ain't lying about that. Got the Sudan coming in behind me right here. Woo, y'all got those 
guys, I like marking the two ends of my right door rope with red paint. And the other one I just leave plain. And I got this center line, it's blue. That way I can keep up with my pull ropes and which one are which one's going where. I just seen that bird there get a fish. Oh man, I hope all this ain't fish. See, we've been pulling for a while. Seen plenty of birds jumping. Not seen that much. That's why I can pick this one on up. Thought we was doing better than that. There's a stinger in there, so be careful. Man, I was hoping for a big hit. Look at the dolphin back here. The beauty that we get to see when we out here. It's just amazing. Oh, had a little nick in his dorsal fin. this stuff you I'll dump it. Well the boats ran good today. <laughs> Except for the one fuel pump issue. You come well, off side. With a little bit of knowledge about motors and stuff. That wasn't too bad and like I said earlier we had already dealt with an uh, issue like that last week. Little shark, you better swim. That dolphin's coming. Hope they'll get him or not. He's trying to get his wits back about him. Wow, man. This is been a tough day. Look at this little fellow. Uh, a little cow nose, right? Is that the cow nose? He's got a rounded or big yeah. right here. Yeah. And he's got a long tail. I don't think the cow nose has the long tail, do they? Yeah, the cow nose has a long tail. But I'm not sure if their mouth is that rounded. Might be a little more blunt than that. So I'm not sure which one that is. We'll have to look it up. Just regular right there. Maybe somebody else out there in YouTube land can tell us what type of ray that is. I bet some of you are saying, I could sit there and watch those dolphins all day. We do, we do. Coming up on our boy, got to get these pull ropes hooked back up. Man. This sucks.
All right, last pull. See Shelly and Phillips ready to go too. We got the doors pulled in. Oliver's got the net pulled in. He just pulled the tail bag up. I'm trying to do this one handed, so sorry for shaking y'all all around. all these fish scales on my glasses but we have had a heck of a day for a very small bounty that little tiny bit in this big cooler little teeny bit and i kept a little of the small trout that were still a little fat that i like to fry those little small ones but that's a wrap guys Thank you guys to our viewers, subscribers, our Patreons, our channel members. We appreciate all you guys. Y'all are what make the channel possible. So if you guys like to come along to the coast, hit that subscribe button. Come on. Woo. We'll see you guys.